Who's next? We have uh, Marie, <coughs> who's having a problem with her uh, boyfriend, <coughs> ex-wife. She's on line number 15. Marie? Yes, hello. Hi, Marie. Hi. How old is Marie? 34. What is the problem with your boyfriend's ex-wife? Well, the problem is, um, just a little background, this past year, um, I've gone through a lot of stuff. Personally, I'm going through divorce uh, after 17 years of marriage. Uh, I discovered my husband was a crack addict. I've got two children, uh, 17 and 7. You've been married since you were 17. Si yeah, 16, 16, actually. 16, yeah. Um, it, it's obviously been very hard on all of us. Um, I am in a new relationship with someone that I've known for eight, nine years. Very uh, gentle, very loving man. And we're both genuinely happy. However, <laughs> um, now my, hus my ex-husband is actually in jail now, so he's not an immediate problem because he was causing he, a lot of problems. Why is he in jail? He's in jail for um, things related to his drug habit, stealing and uh, burglary okay. and things like that. Makes and then sense. violated his probation, so he's back in jail. Um, now the person that's causing us problems is his soon-to-be ex-wife. What she's doing is showing up at uh, public places that we're going to be at. Uh, for example, my daughter's uh, football game the other night. My daughter's a cheerleader. And uh, just, it, it's making things uncomfortable. Like she wants to be there to, I don't know, keep us apart or and, and bring her daughter, okay, but who's also seven. But the only power she has is the power that you allow her to have. If you simply accept her mm -hmm. and don't permit her being there to have any influence on you any more than anyone else, you just say, what a sad, unhappy woman who doesn't have anything better in her life except to be vindictive and let it go. My concern is, is not really any anybody else than their seven-year-old daughter because it seems to me that when you when you're that young and you you're in a place where um, even though mommy and daddy are separated they're together that so, so what do you do with, when you see the seven-year-old well we have a we have a very good relationship so what do you awkward. say to her what do you say to her what do I say to her yeah so no just normal like last night though was uncomfortable why I can't explain why. You, let me tell you the plan. I, when when I, you see her, mm -hmm. when you know that she's going to be there, have a little toy for her, like a pad of paper, a, a, a multicolored paper, or one of those pens that writes in four or five different colors. And when you see her, you say, I'm so glad to see you because I wanted you to have this present and I just brought it with me. And you give her a little something and you reinforce the normalcy of your relationship with her and you say hello to her mother and you, and you just act totally normal like this is sliced bread in your life. Uh -huh. And it, it, it absolutely diffuses it. And after a while, the shock value is gone and everything that his ex is trying to accomplish is defeated. But it's up to you. If you act hurt or uncomfortable, you give her a victory. If you act normal, you take it all away. 